Hello there, Gary here, just doing another video on the uh, Saban Vauxhall 2.8 V6 Turbo high feature. Just got some, as you can see, some goodies arrived for a customer's build, so just rebuilding the engine for him. So we've got custom made pistons, so we haven't got standard compression, we've altered it slightly, uh, we'll run through that in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to look at this stuff and analyse it side by side whilst we've got it here. And also we can take measurements etc as well, so we'll do that in the video as well whilst we're here. So we'll do comparable readings, so um, I'll turn that back on. There we go. So, gudgeon pin, standard OEM ones, very thick. Standard weight 157 in grams. And the modified one which comes from Wozna, it's been hollowed out slightly, it's got chamfers inside, so 120 grams. So obviously with rotating mass, any savings are actually uh, are exponentially uh, greater because of uh, the rotational mass. So a bit like when you save weight on wheels, it's actually more like taking off, take off one kilogram, it's more like taking out 10 kilograms. So uh, similar with the pistons, so there's a standard piston with the uh, full set of piston rings. There's no gudgeon pin clips, so they've been removed, so it's a bare piston just with the piston rings itself. So we've got 404 grams. And this is the Wozna piston. I'll do the weight of it without the piston rings to start off with. So 334. And there's a, a set of piston rings which Wozna have supplied, which fits this piston. Uh, 358. There we go. So again, quite a significant weight reduction. So this would be the total rotating mass. So 479 grams. So that's the piston, the rings, and the gudgeon pin. Piston rings. And gudgeon pin standard, no clips in there, don't forget, it'll be a couple of grams, 562 grams, so quite a, quite a significant weight saving, um, but obviously the new piston is significantly stronger, this is a forged piston, that's why it's uh, lighter, it's got teflon coating on the skirts. So the design, the design of the piston, um, instead of having a uh, raised hemisphere, we've actually had it hollowed out. There's plenty of meat on these pistons allegedly, which is obviously why they could get away with it. We had to reduce the compression ratio because we're going for some quite big numbers on this vehicle. However, we're still running pump fuel. So when, we, when people run E85 fuel, they can actually even increase the compression ratio. However, when pump fuel, uh, we have to go the other way and reduce the compression ratio. So this should sort of change the game really uh, in the UK with what, what we're running without E85, just normal pump gas. Um, so one other thing I did notice, and I'll just line it up now for you. The ring lands are significantly altered. Uh, you know, this is uh, a custom designed piston uh, by Wozna. They made this design specifically for myself uh, at request. There was an additional uh, development fee. Um, however, if you look at the ring lands, there is a significantly larger ring land. So the very top crown of the piston is thicker. So before you actually get to the first piston ring. And likewise, the second piston ring and the oil control rings are actually further down. So, yes, so just analysing things like that. Um, so yeah, sl slightly thicker ring land on piston piston ring number one, which is obviously always a good thing. There will be slightly increased hydrocarbons because some of the fuel and mi air mi mixture will sit around here. That's why a lot of the manufacturers actually try and squeeze the piston ring as high up the piston as they can go because any fuel and air mixture that's sitting between the cylinder wall and the piston in that area doesn't combust. So that then increases the hydrocarbons and that doesn't do, um, doesn't do them any favours when they're trying to get them through EU regulations and California state regulations etc so um, however obviously in the aftermarket we can do what we like I know that was an issue on some other models of cars and that's why the piston ring lands actually crack so we've actually got an increased piston ring land here which is uh, a bonus so it's going to make the unit much stronger other than that it's a standard design it's all similar dimensions gudgeon pins in the same location etc etc there's a couple of oil control holes here which I don't believe are on the original piston. The original pistons are made by Marley, they're cast. They're actually a pretty good piston, don't generally fail. It's normally the bot-com mod that actually fails. But as you see, there's no drillings there into the piston. Whereas on the bottom of this one, clearly there are drillings. So obviously Wozner have come up with a slightly better design of oil control. On this one here, we've also got the forged com rods. So that's a forged rod, and that's the standard rod just there. 
I don't have the whole thing, uh, unfortunately, on this particular one at the moment out of an engine, so I won't do a weight comparison between the two. But I have weighed them before, and I think they were very, uh, very close, closely uh, matched on weight, in fact. So there isn't actually any weight saving on the comrods. These comrods were from Wozna, supplied by Wozna. Um, can't remember the price, but they do have them on the website. However, admittedly, I would say that these are near as be identical to what the BSR rods are. Um, and the BSR ones are a bit cheaper. The only thing that is different is there's a groove inside here uh, where the gudgeon pin goes. So that is one uh, difference which I can say is for sure. So, so they are differently designed, but I, you know, I would imagine they're coming out of the same factory if I'm honest, they do look identical. Obviously ARP bolts, again Wozner supplied these ones for us. We do have part numbers and things on these. I could put, maybe put that in the link below. But yeah, just wanted to show people what will, what can be achieved, you know, uh, parts-wise. You know, the parts are available, and um, it can be quite hard to find. But this set, if anybody uh, is interested, I could send off the part numbers. Uh, um, if you did want lower compression, the design has been made. This is this particular setup is going to be um, 8.65 to one. So we're lowering from 9.5 to one down to 8.65 to one. There was going to be uh, some skimming on the cylinder head, so again, that may alter more towards this 8.7 or 8, even 8.75, but we gave ourselves enough there. If we skim the cylinder heads um, just to freshen them up or if they're particularly bad, um, we've actually got some uh, leeway there anyhow. Um, but yeah, uh, on pump fuel, um, you know, that is definitely going to uh, run a lot better uh, than the 9.5 because we do end up with a lot of detonation and knock uh, when we're running 9.5 to 1 on these engines. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll keep you updated as to how this actually runs once it's all fully installed and up and running.